Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. I'm back with a track guide for this week's Daily Race C at Trial Mountain in Group 4. So for this time trial, we are driving obviously in Group 4 and I am using the Supra with the racing medium tyres because that is the tyres that are allocated for this race with BOP on, no changes to set up. The only change that we make during the qualifying and during the race is brake bias 2 plus 3. That's partly to save some of the front tyres, although brake bias doesn't do a massive amount for your front tyres anymore in this game. It does a slight amount, but it's also mainly for the rotation with these high speed corners where you want to get the you want to get the car swinging in as fast as possible so you can see the brake bias on plus three there let's get into this track guide if you do like these videos subscribe to the channel hit the like button it helps the channel out massively i appreciate everyone who does that and yeah let's see if we can help you get a few more wins this week or podiums and improve your time trial time so going into turn one you're going to be looking out you can see the tents on the left hand side and you can see the first yellow tent there now you're going to be basically braking at the end of that yellow tent and also make sure your right hand tire is all the way up on the curb on the right hand side just to widen the line into this fast left hand corner so as we approach this you can see you can really take a lot of this corner off right hand tire basically touching the white line on the right hand side that is you basically how you got to do you got to get as much corner off these apexes as possible again over the apex here you can see left hand tire basically onto the curb on the left hand side and a little lift off the throttle as we go to the top of this hill just helps stabilize the car as you go over that crest and then back onto the throttle aggressively. And this fast left hand corner is completely flat out. You just want to try and get that line into the corner. So give yourself a bit of space to turn in and accelerate out into the next braking zone. Now for this, we are going to use the end of the yellow wall on the right hand side as a reference there or the start of the tunnel. I tend to use the start of the tunnel and just break by a visual sight to that, but you have got that reference on the right there if you need it. You can see dead on the end of the yellow tunnel, the yellow wall on the right, you're onto the brakes. Now, trail braking is very important for some of these corners. Into this, you trail braking into it, and then onto the throttle as early as possible and use the full width of the track. It's very important this track is all about really getting the full width in, angles into the corners again. This rock on the left, braking reference, perfect reference for this right-hand corner braking just before that rock. And again, you see full width for the track from the left and then using the full width into the right, you can see the right-hand tire skimming the dust on the right just off the curb there from the leader's time. And that's how you've got to do it so you can get on the throttle that little bit earlier and carry that little bit more speed into the next braking zone. Now for this corner, very important corner of this, you can break or make your lap in this one end of the curb on the left brake just before that and try and get it rotated in so that your right hand tire is going to get up onto the curb on the right hand side and then onto the throttle as early as you can to get this momentum out of this corner and then into this next braking zone now you want to kind of imagine a line just into the tunnel five meters into the tunnel and you're going to break just on that line there and rotate it into this apex now you want to get it nice and tight through this really fast corner i go down to third gear let it rotate in then once you feel the grip building get onto the throttle and try and keep that line all the way through this corner you don't want to let it drift out wide because then you can hit the wall on the outside as you go into the tunnel so up shift to fourth gear accelerating all the way out now and now powering your way all the way into the next braking reference this is all about speed so this car is reasonably okay on that sixth gear there is faster cars for this straight but this car's got such good ability at the high speed corners that's why we're using the super for the time trial now we're using this very easy reference as our braking you see the big yellow sign on the right hand side there perfectly placed for your braking reference you're going to break dead on that signpost so as you hit it there you can see onto the brakes and now we're going into this cambered left hand corner again trail braking very important all the way through these corners and you're going to use a bit of the camera, but try and get this car right up close to the, the wall on the left hand side. So you can see trail breaking in, trail breaking in, let the car coast a bit, then back onto the throttle close as we can to the left hand side where that curb is. And then use the full width of the track as we accelerate out up this hill now into the next break in the zone. Now you do have some cones on the left hand side. You have two cones there and one cone there. We're actually going to use the log past the last cone. So that little bit of um, tree where it's broken off is a perfect reference for this corner. Obviously in group four, you're going a little bit slower so you can break a little bit later and now into this right hand corner. Now you want to get this car slowed down and again, a little bit of trail braking as you're going in, right hand tire up onto the curb and then onto the throttle as early as you can to carry that momentum out of this corner. It's all about getting them speeds from the exits 
and obviously full width of track using this wide track to your advantage again onto the brakes before we get to the bottom of the dip where you see that little crest on the bottom there we're going to brake nice and early just before that and then let the car rotate down to second gear then back up to third gear and let the car accelerate out of this corner again use the full width for track right hand tire almost onto the grass and now into the next braking zone we're going to use my trusty bit of moss on the right hand side there you can see i always use this moss on the right hand side of the wall there brake just before that downshift through the gears and then just be very quiet you want to take kind of a late apex into this corner try and widen the line in you can see very wide in rotating it in down to first gear then back up to second gear as your car is onto the curb a little bit of throttle to help rotate the car and then again you want to swing it in so that you're really concentrating on your exit speed for this corner it's all about getting the exit speed and staying on that throttle all the way to the finishing line and again use the full width for track it is very much reminds me of the St. Croix track about using the full width using the curbs using every bit of space you can to get that lap time out of it because it's so wide once you start getting used to doing that you'll find the lap times really start dropping down so again watching the lap from the chase camera you can see what we're talking about here with the full width you can see the right hand tire up onto the curb here you can see there up onto the curb and then again over the apex using the massive amount of a cut there and again on the right hand side you can really cut over the top of that hill and then into this tunnel section breaking just before we enter the tunnel let that trail braking take place and then just let the car coast a little bit before getting back on that throttle and again into this really fast right hand corner this is actually faster than you think you're going down to second but then you can go into third gear before you come out of the corner again so important to get these exit speeds again this one you see we go third gear and then onto that throttle and then just as we're going into the tunnel a little bit of braking input let the car just get really up to this apex kicking up the dust and then up into fourth gear before we come out of the exit and then it's just all about the power of the car as we go down this straight but you can really see why this track reminds me of st croix in the way you drive it it's got the very similar kind of layout wide open corners fast corners and once you start like really exaggerating like the full width of the track and getting over them track limits that you can take advantage of you'll start gaining the time again through this corner nice and close up to the curb on the left use the full width to the right and then into this tricky this is actually a tricky corner here breaking just on that tree stump there and then just waiting for it to rotate down to second gear then back up to third gear as you get on the throttle really helps the car get that momentum out of the corner again a little bit of a dip in there breaking before that and then up into third gear and just trying to get that exit speed again using the curb on the right hand side now into that braking zone like i said before that little bit of mold on the right hand side you can see how we use that rotate the car in and you can see how we're trying to get the car to the left hand side as much as possible there now i don't exaggerate that as much as you probably can a lot of people are getting it all the way up to the white line and then increasing their exit speed along this straight it's where i'm losing a little bit of time so if you can do that you're going to gain another couple of attempts there and probably get, get yourselves you know an even faster lap time i do think 56 is a possible for me should be able to get into the 56s if i went into time trial quite aggressively this lap as you could see on the lap was just done before we entered the race it wasn't actually time trial and we we're just like doing laps before we went in so yeah there's a lot of potential to probably get a 56 out of that but hopefully you'll enjoy this guide hopefully it'll help you out hopefully it'll help you get a few wins or podiums let me know in the comments and i'll be back with these in the future thanks again for watching everyone bye